we sell the Carnival Mardi Gras as well as the Carnival Celebration. Not once, but twice. And today, we bought the third ship in Carnival's XL class, the Carnival Jubilee. So come along as we board this brand new ship and let's see exactly what it has to offer. Stay tuned for all the fun. What's up, what's up? It's your favorite couple. I'm Shelton. Hey, girl. Hey, what day is it, babe? she just said it's cruise day as you can see behind us we're about to board the beautiful the beautiful large uh kind of a jubilee and hey it's brand spanking new everything new 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 yeah so uh embarkation day we're going to show you the ins and outs of the ship make sure you go ahead and like subscribe share us out tell a friend tell a friend let's see how long this process takes so yeah it's currently 11.58, our boarding time is at 11.30, and let's see how long it's going to take us to get on the ship. So let's get it. Okay, 11.59, let's go. 11.59. Hey, catch you later. The line outside of the terminal was extremely lengthy. Now, we'd heard about chaos and delays from those with earlier boarding times, so we expected things to be disorganized. Thankfully, we didn't experience the chaos, and although there were tons of excited travelers, the lines moved rather quickly. It's 12.06, we're inside, got out on the ship, it was packed in here. Let's see how long it's going to take us to get over here. Yes. Hey guys, when I say it's packed in here, it's super packed. I'm telling you, there's probably like hundreds of folks just waiting. Luckily we had 11.30 uh, time, and it's moving, it's moving. After maneuvering through the seemingly endless line, we were finally checking in and getting closer to embarking Carnival's newest ship. All right, guys, next stop is security, and then we're on our way to the ship. Hey, guys, we made it through the dog check, security, uh, drink check. We made it through all of that, pretty much. Now we're on our way. Since it was the holiday season, there were carolers singing in the terminal. We were excited to finally have a new carnival terminal in our state. It was so neat and clean. I mean, check it out. After a quick observation, we headed to our final checkpoint before boarding. All right, Key, this is the last step before we hit the gameway. Well, I heard they got a lot of food up on that ship. I can't wait. <laughs> All aboard, all aboard, yo, we going on a trip. Pack your bags, print your tags, yo, we getting on the ship. All aboard, all aboard. On the gangway, let's check the time. What time is it? 12.33. 12.33. What time we started? I don't remember. Rewind. Rewind. Hit that rewind button. But hey, we walking. Oh. Yes, I am. You ready? Yes. Let's go explore like Dora. So now let's go to our muscle station. We're at E06. While en route to our muster station, we notice the similarities between this ship and her sister ships, the Mardi Gras and Celebration. All are very similar with subtle differences. Okay, 
F7, yes. Can you come please? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. For the briefing, please. Oh, okay. We'll do, we'll do. The crew member demonstrated how to wear safety vests and explained that they are located at our muster stations instead of our cabin closets. I have support and one over here by the side. All right. Since this was an inaugural sailing, cabins were available as soon as we boarded the ship, so we headed there after our muster drill. 15460 this way? Oh. Oh. Okay, gotcha. Sorry. Oh, that's a good spot. Right. All right, that's us, babe. Okay. That's us. So although we've experienced interior and ocean view cabins, our preference is to have a balcony. So cabin 15460 is a balcony cabin. It has ample closet space and it contains adjustable shelving which can be raised to hang longer garments. And there were plenty of hangers during our stay. There's also a full length mirror, a safe to store your personal items, and pull out wire baskets for more storage. Just like the Mardi Gras in celebration, this is one tiny bathroom. Now there's space for you to store your personal items and there's also a nightlight that remains on even once the main light is turned off. Now although the bathroom is small, the shower is actually quite roomy. Shower gel and shampoo are the amenities provided and the best part is that there's no shower curtain. Yay! From overhead to the headboard, there was plenty of lighting available in this room. There are even reading lights on both sides of the bed and each contains a USB port that can be used to charge your devices. This room had enough space for two people and the TV size was perfect. There were standalone shelves for additional storage, a mirror with a backlight, and an actual refrigerator as opposed to a mini bar. There are also several soft clothes drawers that could be used to store your personal items. And overall, again, this was a great room. Now the balcony had plenty of space, enough space for two people, and it actually seemed to be slightly larger than our balcony on the celebration. It had two chairs and a table, yet it lacked privacy as our neighbor could see anything that we did on the balcony. After checking out our room, we headed out to meet some other content creators who were on this set. What's up guys, we're here with Peer Runners. Tracy, tell us about your channel. So Peer Runners is a channel that's based on cruising with our peers. Now, mind you, we do like to see the Peer Runners run, and we used to laugh. But then we realized sometimes they were running for the ship because maybe something tragic happened when they were on the island. So now we are your peers. And if you laugh, and we're going to laugh. If you're not laughing, we're not going to laugh with you. And we're here to help, and we're here to not do whatever laugh we at can. You. Right. We're not going to laugh at, at you, you. But we're going to be whatever we need to be for you. for you and with you within the cruise family. And that's what we're all here to do. We're all one cruise family. And if we could all get that, we'll have a better time cruising. There you go. Yeah. Hey guys, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to Pure Runners. They got a lot of upcoming content. That's upcoming coming your, content. Coming your way. Coming at you. That's right. We then headed outside for the sell away party. And as you know, no one does sell aways like Carnival. <laughs>
out the way Who got a watch, who got the time, I'm racing the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop Got big dreams, want bigger rocks I got plans, who got talk It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did the best yes, I caught that crib and bought two chains and then I hid the rest yeah. And it's okay to do your thing but just you off my mind I think of you all the time I wanna get with you inside the lines Just hit me up It was finally time to sail away. Goodbye Galveston and we will see you again in seven days. Hey, how's it going? It's Bill from One Strong Adventures. I appreciate you watching your favorite couple. Me, my channel, it's about cruising and my experiences. Solo cruiser, slightly older, not old, but slightly older. I'm going to give you a different perspective about cruising as you get older and even solo cruising. So make sure you check out my channel, Warm Strong Adventures, and thanks for tuning in. Yes, be sure to check them out, guys. Bill from Warm Strong Adventures. Whoop, whoop. Hey, guys. We made it back to the room. Guess what we did? We unpacked our luggage. So we got everything separated, organized. It's going to save us a lot of time and effort. And as you can see behind me, we got a whole candy house back there here. We got chips. We got cookies. We got some games. So, hey, we're going to do our thing. We're going to have fun. So, uh, we got dinner in about 10 minutes. Pull the drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling. I GDM in, yeah. Didn't want to share my love till I found someone I'm sure of. Young and untamed. I've been out of range. Keep it below. But I want to be bold. As soon as we made it to the restaurant and sat down, our waiter was here to take our order. I ordered the fruit as an appetizer. Shelton ordered the duck rolls as well as shrimp cocktail. And in less than five minutes, our food was on our table. So, hey, no long wait. For the main entree, we both ordered the Szechuan shrimp. So, this is different. See how it tastes. Yes. So, how's your food? Huh? How's your food? It's good. Enjoying it? Find the food, everything is good. Uh, everything is good. good. Thank you. Need something else? Just let me know, okay? Okay. I will take care of it, okay? okay thank, thank you. you. And for our final course, dessert, I got something that I normally never get, and it's Carnival's Melting Chocolate Cake. I think this is my first time getting it. I don't know if it's going And I don't know where Shelton got it. Uh, some sort of orange cake. Ice cream stuff. I don't know. Shelton, what is that? Um, I have no clue what it is, <laughs> but I'm going to check it out and we're going to take one for the team. So, Shelton, how do you like your orange bungee cake thingy? Make me do this. Oh, it must be good. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Very time. good. All right, guys, we just left dinner and despite the wait, Man, I, I ate everything off my plate. What's wrong, King? Yeah, dinner was good. It was a different menu. Normally on the first day, I know what I want to, what I'm going to order because it's always the same. And they switched it up this time, but I mean, it was still good. It was still good. So now we have no plans. We're just gonna go walk and explore the ship. So if we decide to get into something, we'll bring you along. Let's yes. Go. Hey guys, we made it back to the room. Uh, we ate, caught up with some other content creators. We just had a blast just exploring it. Uh, when we passed by the casino, man, the casino is super, super packed. To I've compact. never seen a casino this packed on a ship. Like, every machine 
had someone there playing, and I'm not over exaggerating. Like there were no available seats. Period. All right. So I guess everybody's trying to get those deals. You know what I'm saying? It's a new yeah. ship. They're trying to break into the machines. Not break into the machine, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, the machine should be freely loose or whatever. But anyways, hey, we uh, we had a great day. First day is in the book. We made history being the first guest in this room and the first selling out of Galveston, Texas. So if you could... Go ahead and like, subscribe, share our videos out. We got a lot of more uh, days coming up on this cruise and a lot more co uh, content coming up your way. So, uh, again, thank you. Peace. Till next time. Shout out to our channel members. Thank you so much for your support.